Good afternoon. Today I'm reviewing the Search and Rescue Firefighter. But this is going to be a comprehensive uh, review of every single version of the figure released. And you may see right here I have the 2011 First Responder Firefighter and just the Firefighter right here, which is seen even less. These are all practically the same figure. Um... The only real difference being this one has a black hood and these two have the tan hoods and obviously these two are two variations of the same figure. They just had different color bunker gear and this figure just has the flashlight instead of this box light that came with the figure. So uh, I'm going to go over everything comprehensively. Make sure this doesn't fall over and I'll grab the equipment list right here. Going to the equipment list, the figure comes with the figure, duh, a shirt, the coat, pants, hood, boots, helmet, and the air tank, as well as the, the tools, like the axe that, came with, uh, that, comes with, that comes with every figure, like the axe that comes with every figure, and in this case, like the box light, and in this case right here, but in this case, right here, the figure has this working flashlight that somehow still works after 20 years. You can see some nice artwork here that's actually available online in its entirety, so you can actually look at the look at the whole bit online. Right here, you can read the bio if I can get it far back enough. If you want to pause and read that, I figure I'll unbox in a second. First, I want to give you a look at the first responder firefighter. Let me make sure. Let me see if I can just swap these. There you go. The first responder firefighter from 2011. And a few key differences you can see here, just by looking at them in the box. The bunker gear has some different decals on them, and it looks like slightly different stitch job. But that's just, that's just me being really particular about it. He has the number 37 on his shoulder right there, and the newer G.I. Joe logo right there. Right here on the back, you, you can see uh, all the gear he comes with. Um, probably should show that at the beginning, but... Uh, we're already this far, so. You also see some of the other figures in that small brief release. And it really is a shame that the figures were available for such a short time. So I'm just going to break these figures out of their boxes. Uh, and assemble this one so you can see how these two are assembled. Uh, let's get into it. Alright, so now I'm just going to quickly go over, well, try to quickly go over all the bits of the of the figure in the uniform. Keep in mind, pretty much everything's the same between all these figures. Uh, aside from this little bit I'm going to show you right here. This figure does not have the cloth shirt. Uh, the later G.I. Joe's, which I mentioned in a previous video, had a shirt sculpted onto them. In this case, it's tan, as a lot of them were in that, um, in that series. A lot of the ones in the uh, in the 2011 series also had this sort of head sculpt right here, and this head sculpt is pretty similar to the one in there. I haven't really, really noticed any real differences aside from the skin tone, but just for the sake of clarity, I'm gonna put that out there. So now I'm just gonna. Um, patch up the uniform and right at this bit I'm going to show you the differences between the uniforms so you can see the 37 on the side right there in some looks like looks like the material is kind of reflective it's kind of hard to tell the GI Joe right across the shirt and on the back it says fire rescue in the same material as the 37 right there 
Uh, if I can just grab, I probably should have grabbed the figure out of that box first, but. Or as you can see right here, kind of, barely, you can see it's a different lettering. It says Metro FD. Like they put on the helmet. This figure, I gave him a different helmet to match the FDNY style rather than the modern L LAFD style. So next up, I'm going to put on his pack. This is the pack right here. And it's pretty... Ooh, oops, yeah. Th these little bits come off with the pop right back. And it's pretty close to what we have in the actual field. <laughs> so let me just get all these straps properly aligned, and I can start putting it on the figure. So here I'm going to put on the figure's um, mask now. I'm pretty sure they initially intend you to put it over the hood, but I don't put it on like that because that's not how you do it in the real world. This mask looks like it's a bit tighter this time, which I'm definitely not complaining about because it really, really helps a bit more. Pull the hood over the mask, as you do. And in the real world, we do have um, the hoods in both tan and black. The black is usually a particle resistant hood, meaning it's actually a bit better to use over the tan hood. Most departments do wish it the tan hoods though, so right there. Mask is on. This bit right here would usually swivel, but it's not this time for some reason. I don't know why, and I don't want to force it. So, I'm going to make it work. I'm going to reattach these two hoses right here. I'll have to fiddle with that later, but I'm pretty sure you get the idea. That's his pass alarm. That I'm going to bring, bring on to the other side. Ah, there we go. That's the pack and mask on. I'm not going to give him his helmet. You really can't see it. That's his pack and mask on. I'm going to give him the helmet now. Probably should have waited, but... Yeah, and this helmet is not like to sit over the mask for some reason. Which is why I switched the helmet on this figure in the back. But it's good enough. In this case, it's actually staying on pretty well. Um, mainly because everything's tighter on this, which I do really like. And that's a big improvement I never really knew about until I opened up the, pet, until I opened up the figure. Here we go. Now, to give the figure his tools. Work with one hand here, because I have to worry about the camera. Making sure I keep everything in frame. If I haven't already completely blown this video. This is box light. And there we go. That's the first responder firefighter. And the search and rescue firefighter. All done in one go. So for the next block of this video, I'm going to be doing the firefighter right here. So, that's that to look at the top of the box. From above. All that. Bring it around. You already saw the back. To the other side, same old copyright stuff on the bottom. I'm gonna open up the figure right now. So just before wrapping this up, I'm gonna show you the flashlight that the firefighter came with. It. So I'm starting to assume, just from opening the package, unboxing the figure, and holding the figure, I'm willing to bet this is like just a re-release, or like you know. Yeah, I guess a re-release of the Search and Rescue Firefighter, just with some better accessories. This is the light right here. Let 
you can see it working on the far far a little bit. And you know, if you had to pick between the two, um, between the search and rescue firefighter and the firefighter, this is definitely the better way to go because it comes with both the axe and the halligan and all these accessories. So you, you do get more bang for your buck when you buy this figure. Okay, so this has been a comprehensive look at the search and rescue firefighter, the firefighter, and the first responder firefighter. Of course, the G.I. Joe Classic Collection. Uh, thanks for watching.